Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Um, quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel. Um, we focus on hobbies here such as reading, photography and colouring. Um, this is None of these videos are in any way, shape or form, designed for or made for children. This is adults, we discuss adult topics. Today we're going to be doing, sorry if I'm just exhausted, my the colouring pages I completed in January. I think I did 10, which is quite good because obviously with a two year old it's very hard to find time to do anything. So the first one we did was in the Dark Fantasy Special Colour in Heaven and we did this one on camera. And oh my god that hurt my hand then it's stuck. It's got stuck because somebody folded it up. Lily the Witch. And this was done with touch five markers, um, acrylic paint and some stickles for stars on the back. We did it on camera but we didn't do the background, we just did the main picture. So I quite like that one. And then the next ones I did, I did a couple in A Hundred Beautiful Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. I think I've just started doing them in order to be honest. So I did this one with my Link Shine oops, Glitter Gel Pens. And then I did this one with just purple gel pens they weren't glitters they were just normal normal gel pens so I did those two another one we did on camera was um, Rosie from Whimsy Girls at Work uh, by Hannah Lynn and this was done with the Arteza Everblend markers and the background I have to do this sorry I'm not set up properly um, and some acrylic paint for the for the background I really enjoyed doing that one that was a lot of fun and then I did one in the Celtic inspired mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova and again this was done with the Link Shine gel pens I love those pens they are the best it took a while it's just all Red, gold, blue and green. Most of it was done with pens this month. And then I did another one in Creative Haven's Flower Mandala's colouring book. And I think I did this with the Crayola Super Tips for a change. I like this book. It'll probably be the first one I, I actually finished because I colour in it all the time. I really like this one. Another colour in heaven, we had the Dreamtime Special, which is all Hannah Carlson's pictures. I like this book, so I like Hannah Carlson. And it's nice to be able to colour with markers and things like that. So we did this one, this is the one, that, the controversial one. Yin and Yang, Sun and Moon. And it was done again with Arteza Everblend markers and acrylic paint. Yeah, the background's a bit swirly, but people said that's great because it looks like the sky. So I enjoyed that one. And then another, I did three Colour in Heaven magazines this, this month, which is great because I'm trying to colour in all of them. I did one in the Alice special. This was the one we used in the WH Smith's review. And I did um, this one by Fabiana Atanasio. Um, and uh, as mentioned that was just done with the um, WH Smith's pencils 48 set I really enjoyed doing that one it took a while my problem is if I get going on a pe picture and then I stop for any reason I just don't want to carry on with it that's why I try not to have too many whips going on because they just hang around forever um, I try and do the pictures I've started because if I if I don't I, I just don't want to do it and that's what happened with this I got most of it done and then I just didn't want to do any more of it I stopped um, and then I thought no I've got to do it and I sat down and I finished it off and it, it I, I quite like the way it turned out so I really love these uh, Color in Heaven magazines I can't wait to get my next one through the post 
I did one in the Art of Colouring Nouveau book, which I bought three in a set from Amazon for something like, I don't know, 4 And I just did this with um, Crayola Super Tips. The other thing about this paper is it doesn't have to suck up the ink. So this is Super Tips, and as you can see, you can, you can see through a little bit, not much. Um, but some of these you'd need to use fine liners. And I just used four colours, red, gold, well, red, yellow, green for background, and a little bit of blue in the middle there. That didn't take long. It was quite fun to do. As you can see, I made a mistake there, but that's okay. I still enjoyed doing it. And yeah, the short video is only five minutes long. I'm so tired. The last one I did was this one. This is from Little Sweethearts by Deborah Muller. I am a member of the Deborah Muller group on Facebook, and every month, every week, she gives you a free download. A picture to download. This is one of the freebies. I've got them all saved apart from last week's. Every now and again I print one off and just have a colour. Now this was done with a mixture of Everblend markers and Touch 5. So most of it was done with the Everblend except for the roses, the bluebirds, the flowers here, the butterflies and the background um, sky and the, and the grass. Uh, the rest, that was done with Touch 5. But I really like that picture. It's a really cute one. So um, I don't have many in my folder. So I am going to try and do one of these sort of loose pages. I've got quite a lot of them by various artists um, every month. So very quick video because I didn't really call a huge amount and I don't like to go on about a load of other things during one of these. But that's everything I coloured in the month of January. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.